perfect ten problem. From the entertainment capital of the world, it's the perfect ten. And now for the star of the perfect ten, an all-around perfect guy, Ramon. And welcome to The Perfect Ten! The show where everyone gets ten stars, so everyone's a winner! Who? Even me? Well, no, not you, Cat. You're a judge. But everyone who performs will be a winner! Now it's time to meet our other judges. Sharing the chair with Cat, here's Ben! Hi, Ramon. I'm a really big fan of the show, so I'm super excited to be here. It's one of us hot! And here's our other judge for the evening, the Parrot! That's right, I'm a parrot and my name is Parrot. How do we play this game anyway? I'm so glad you asked. First, our performers will sing a song. Sing a song? But I forgot my earplugs. Parrot, you'll decide how many stars you want to give their performance. Then Peg and Cat will give their score. But remember, all of the contestants should get a total of ten stars. No more, no less. That way, everyone's the winner! That means it's up to you to make sure everyone gets a score of 10. But how will we know how many stars to give them? It's too much pressure. We've, We've got, got a big problem. problem. Don't worry, you two. Adding to 10 is easy. You just have to count on your fingers. Count on my fingers. I think he was talking to me, Cat. You have zero fingers. That means you have none. Oh. And look, your paws even have big zeros on them. How many fingers do you have, Peg? I've got 10. That's right, and you can use those fingers to figure out how many stars to get the contestants. And now it's time to begin the perfect day! Don't let the size of our first act fool you. They may be tiny, but boy, can they put on a show. Introducing Richard, Baby Fox, and Littlest Chicken! So, Richard... What do you like to do in your free time? Um, I like to... <laughs> I forget what I like to do and now I'm ruining everything! And what about you, Baby Fox? What do you like to do? <laughs> Just adorable. Hi there, Littlest Chicken. Do you know all your lines? Nope. And with that, you three can take it away! <clears throat> I'm not giant, colossal, or hefty. Not lanky, humongous, or tall. There's no need to flatter. The truth of the matter is size-wise I am small. Some say I'm the smallest, but I can't agree. Through my travels I've found there are others around who are even smaller than me. Presenting small, small, smallest, too small, smaller, smallest. I'm small, you see, but he's smaller than me. This little chick is the smallest of the three. There's a lot we could do for each other that we never could do for ourselves. Like it's eating a loaf bag, a monkey, a loaf bag. Or cookies up high on shelves. There are rides that we never ride on, and movies we'll never see. But whatever the weather, the weather together, wherever we will be. Small, small. The smallest of the three. What a performance! Now let's see what our judges think. Parrot? I don't like that it hurt my ears. I like that it's over. Five stars! Five stars? But we really want to get ten stars. No one should be unhappy on the perfect ten. We've got a problem. Unless Peg and Cat can give them enough stars to equal ten. Peg and Cat? I really like their song. So catchy. Now, let's see. Pear gave the group one, two, three, four, five stars. So to figure out how many stars make ten, we just need to count these other fingers. Oh, I'll help. One, two, three, four, five. So we need to give the group five, five stars. Our first group is five stars and five more stars. So all together, they have ten stars. They like Now 
for our next act, the Pirates! If you're aboard a pirate boat, you're a sailing or a float, and you're heading for the sandy shore. There's a number that's the best, it's better than the rest, and that's the number four. When you're in the pirate group, a pirate gang, a pirate troop, four pirates is the perfect size. With four in your crew, you're never down. Especially me. No, I'm the jolliest pirate! You've never seen a jollier pirate than me! I'm so jolly! Alright! Now let's see if you made our judges jolly! Parrot, what did you think of the pirates? How can they be jolly without their parrot? I give them one star! One star! Peg and Cat, it's up to you to make it to ten! Then let's count, and fast! I'll put down one finger because Parrot gave the pirates one star! That leaves... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine! Pirates, we really enjoyed your song, so we're going to give you... Nine, nine stars! stars! All right, Pirates, you've received one star and nine stars, so all together, you've got a score of ten stars! Teachers! All righty, Ramoni! Another perfect ten! And now for our final performance... Joining us straight from the pigsty, here's the pig! Before he performs, let's watch this short video about his awesome career. The pig's favorite pastimes include sitting, staring, and waiting. The pig also enjoys gazing. He can be best described as lazy, idle, inattentive, and lifeless. But lucky for us, he perks up when he sings. Take it away, pig! can't count on my fingers. You genius cat, that's it! Your paws have zeros on them. If we give the pig zero stars, then his score will still be ten. You paws rock. Okay, Ramon, we give the pig zero, zero stars. stars! Pig, we really like your song, but you already have ten stars, so you don't need any more to get to ten. <laughs> All right, let's check the board. Pig, you've got ten stars and zero stars, which equals ten stars! That means everyone's a winner on the perfect ten! We win! We win! <laughs> because we knew about adding to ten, all of the performers won! Math really saved this game show! Take it away, you two! Problem solved! The problem is solved! We solved the problem! So everything is awesome! Problem solved! So, Pig and Cat, what have you learned tonight on the Perfect Ten? I learned that my paws are really helpful. And I learned that there are lots of combinations that add up to ten. Arr! Those 
pirates really love being in a group of four, but I'm totally happy with our group of two. So am I. We are two. Na 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 na. Me plus you. Na 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 na. Hawk, I'll give you ten stars to stop singing. <gasps> we got ten. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> up which is more sad but you're one of my best friends and we're gonna help you make your dream come true get ready to be first in line really you guys are the best <gasps> but wait all this time we've been standing around talking i may have missed my chance to be first in line this is a big problem <laughs> all aboard the space bus let's stop the yellow stone We can make it to the yellow store in time. Now arriving at the yellow store. We're here! And that means you can still be first in line. And so, problem solved. The problem is solved. We solved the problem, problem. Wait a minute. Where's everybody going? To get in line at the yellow store. What? What? Quickly, but golly, that was fast. 
Maybe I should just give up. Maybe it's a sign. But I wish I could have been the first in line. Richard, you give up too quickly. We're going to do whatever we can to get you to the very front of the line. Oh, Peg. Oh, Cat. Oh, Peg plus Cat. Thank you. Here, I want you to take these old yellow gadgets as my way of saying thanks. Thanks, Richard. Yellowies. Hi, everyone. Ramon, what are you doing here? I'm the manager at the yellow store. It's my job to make sure everyone in line gets a new yellow gadget. Hooray! So I have to enforce a strict rule. Aww. Anyone who steps out of line for any reason must go all the way to the back, and everyone who is behind them moves up, okay? Okay. Wow! Everybody's talking at the same time. Weird, right? Very. Don't fuck me, Ramon. I will keep an eye on the line. Dude, didn't you just step out of line? I keep one foot in, like the hokey pokey. Thanks, Beethoven. Also, please recycle your own yellow gadgets in this bin. See you soon. <laughs> Richard, you can still be first if everyone in front of us steps out of line. But the line is so long. Yeah, I wonder how long it is. Wait, you figured it out, you yeah. brilliant line-making cat. We need to make a number line. A number line is when you put all the numbers on a line so you can see them in order. Like this? Exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, come on. We have a problem. Sorry, Peg, you stepped out of line, so you'll have to go to the back. Oh, so I was in 19th place, but now I have to move back to 20th. Right, and since Cat was behind you, he moves up one. Hot diggity! Oh, this is boring waiting in line. Not as boring as the belly aching you're making. Or the time it's taken for you to be making your belly aching. Or my belly aching at the time it's taken for me to be making this bacon. Put it on a cracker. Ah. Hey, pirates, if you want something to do, try counting the line with ordinal numbers. So instead of one, two, three, say first, second, third. Okay, I'll start. First, second, third. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Come on, we have another emergency. You five counted all the way to the back of the line. Great job. But you might as well stay there now. Uh, we stepped out of line. Arrgh. Look, Richard, we moved up five spaces. Which puts me all the way up to 13th place. Oh, happy day. Yeah, not for us. Yeah, we like had the exact like spots. We like, like, like. We were 13th, 14th, and 15th in line. It totally matched our ages. So, we want to be where you are. And you want to be where we are. What do you say? Want to do some swapsies? Swapsies? Like, swapsie swapsies? Is that allowed? Devious, but I like it. Did you hear that, Viv? They're doing swapsies. Mm. Is that allowed? Let's ask Ramon. What? I got the whistle. Ramon! Sorry, ladies. Rules are rules. Gonna have to send you to the back of the line. Not a fail! Hmm. No good deed goes unpunched. Well, Richard, what do you think? Oh, Peg, I'm sixth in line! That's so close to first, I can almost smell it. What does it smell like? Kinda like Big Mouth? <laughs> oh, no! It's Big Mouth, and he sees all the little yellow gadgets! So, Big Mouth loves things that are little and yellow. Oh, right! We should probably run then. <laughs> I know you're really excited to get your new yellow gadget, but you have to wait in line like everybody else. The old line is gone, so let's make a new line, people. Second! Third! Fourth! Okay, it's almost time to open the store. I'll be right back, everyone. Oh, how bittersweet. I'm in second place. I guess I'll never be first in anything. <laughs> Mimi, Mama, oh no! If Richard can't fulfill his dream.
Kojima being first in line, he's gonna sing again. And I can't take any more of Richard singing today. No offense, Richard. I am totally freaking out. Cat's right. I should count backwards from five to calm down. Five, four, three, two, one. Cat, that's it. We're all carrying yellow gadgets, and Big Mouth wants them. So? So, hey everybody, let's all recycle our old yellow gadgets. Hmm? Uh -huh. oh, oh. I am such a tattletail. Well, looks like he's got his hands full. So, Richard, you're first in line. I, I am? I'm really first? Yay! By knowing ordinal numbers, we moved Richard to the front of the line. Miles can make you first. And so, problem solved. The problem is solved. We solved the problem. So everything is awesome. Problem solved. First gadget goes to Richard. New yellow gadgets do anyway. Oh, that's easy. Everyone, push the button on your gadget. Nice. They turn everything into a dance party. Oh, so that's what they do. Richard, oh, he has the kahoolest toys. He sure does. I could auto-twist all day. Anybody could. It does it for you. Well, then I could auto-twist and play the uke all day. Play the uke? You don't know how to play the uke. I can play the auto-uke. It does it for you. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> 